Hello viewers, SuperGT here. Welcome back. Thank you for joining. We arrive once again at the Oval. This is a race that comes up every now and then. Oval racing on Gran Turismo Sport. 50% luck, 50% skill. Is that fair? Maybe we'll find out over the course of this video. So, Blue Moon Oval, otherwise or properly known as the Hash Brown Raceway, of course. Now, eight laps around the Oval, starting 10th. Let's see what we can do. We've got a couple of examples here, including two from a live stream. And starting in 10th. Okay, starting in 10th, not too much of an issue. Your, your starting grid position on this race doesn't actually matter too much. I'm going to skip to lap three because the first two laps, the race is basically just settling in. And it's usually by about lap three or four-ish where things really begin to hit the fan. As we're beginning to see now, I'm, I'm in 10th still, but I'm only 1.1 seconds away from the lead. And this is where things begin to get interesting, of course. We go for two moves. Now, the important thing in this race, one of the most important things, or probably the most important thing, is the slipstream. Now, you're not going to succeed on an oval if you don't utilise and use the suck forces available to you in the game. If you don't do that, then you're toast, basically. You might as well just be considered a piece of toast, because you're not going to win if you don't use it properly. And uh, that is the problem if you start further back because you're at the mercy of other people and um, people might not utilise the slipstream properly and then you might lose the toe of the cars at the front. Um, but here we are we are okay as um, there's a nice big four-way gaggle there through turn two. Coming into the final corner, a couple of penalties being dished out here. We've got an actual imposter Ram Shadow GT up there in second. My doppelganger, my Dutch doppelganger move up into four with two penalties up ahead here so things are looking all right i'm making my ascent up the field at the right kind of time it's an eight lap race actually i'll just say that and we get shoved wide you're at the mercy of other people as well on this for sure this is why i've got the radar on bottom right of the screen a couple of people said their penalties would go up a couple of positions again but you really are at the mercy of your other competitors in this race and i was considering naming this video something along the lines of hmm, how, how do we put it gt sport oval racing brings out the worst in people something like that because it really gets very aggressive it really does as um the race was looking all right there in fourth now you immediately move down to 13th this is just how ridiculous and close these races are coming into turn one and yet again there's going to be contact ft1 gets shoved a bit wide and there we go look at this it's really begun to kick off we're going to go to the left hand side escape road and suddenly out of nowhere we just slammed and absolutely abused into the wall and yeah your guess is as good as mine on that one eight second penalty for this absolute criminal here called ram shadow and well that's basically race over so a lap later serve the penalty and oh mate oh mate that is so painful please make it stop make it stop okay there we go it's over one of the worst pains i've ever felt serving that eight second penalty there it was not only was it unjustified but it was worse than childbirth we eventually finished 14th so an absolute disaster so that one i didn't have the luck no luck went my way on that one um but we're going to go again of course we can't leave it there can you Starting 7th this time, a little bit further forward. We've got an M6 at the front. We're going to skip to lap 2. As we said, lap 1, lap 2 usually, not too much going on. Um, we're going to try to make our ascent. And that is one of the things I've really noticed in, in this race especially, and it's probably true in most oval racing. You have to time your ascent through the pack at the right. You, know, you have to time it right. You know, you could get to the front on lap 1, lap 2, but then you'd have to defend for a whole race, which is doable in certain circumstances, but it's very difficult. So you do have to be very wary about how quickly you move up the pack. Sometimes it's best just to sit and wait, sit and wait, sit and wait, and then I think about three quarters or two thirds or three quarters of the way through the race is probably about a good time to start getting towards the front. And already this race has begun to get quite aggressive with um, the slipstream snake uh, swiveling its way up the back straight here 
we move up into fifth and um, the guy in the lead is going very defensive as he probably should given that he's in the lead as we sweep through the final corner onto the main straight once again ram shadow just in front of us We've got a bmw here um, so at least someone's thrown a different car into the works here although it's lacking in the straight line speed this is the amazing thing the, the lancer evo is ridiculously good and i just go into the back of devious there as um yeah the evo it's not normally good on circuits, but on the oval, it's just ridiculously good. It's so good in the corner, it's good off the corner, and then it's good on the straight line as well, in the slipstream and outside of the slipstream. Uh, you know, it's just a ridiculously good car for the oval. So that's why you're going to see it a lot. But I do propose to you some alternatives, and I'm going to show you some in the last two races in this video. Um, but my main alternative would be the Mercedes SLS which I felt like was a really good car for this race. Other alternatives would be the Audi R8 and maybe even the Nissan GTR. Um, this guy going to the BMW, I'm not sure how good that car is but he's making an alright job of it. The problem is on these oval races um, and it's true of all oval racing I think the margins are so fine, so small so even the tiniest difference even if it's just like your car doesn't quite go around corners quickly or doesn't have quite the same top end, it really matters. It matters even more on Noble, I think. So we've gone up into the lead. So we've timed our ascent here. I think, okay, we'll, we'll see, I suppose. Three laps left to go. We're going to defend all the way to the inside, covering these guys off, and then move back over slightly. As long as there's no one on the right hand side, that's all right. And we'll go through turn one. Again, getting a good exit. They're moving immediately to the left-hand side. Now, this is what I felt like was the outside of the track, this yellow line. Um, but then this guy actually just drives off the track to the left, you see on the radar, and then tries to get back on there. So I didn't know how, you know, are you supposed to go beyond that yellow line or not? I don't know. But I felt like defending to the yellow line was where I would defend normally. But we're still in the lead. It turned out all right. Moving over to the left-hand side again. And I kind of learned this tactic from watching the Indy 500. You know, you, you know, at the end of the race when they're when they're leading and it's very close, they immediately drive to the left-hand side, to the left wall, just to defend their position. Coming through turn one, lap seven of eight. So we're getting towards the end now. Over the left, look how close it is. A big swarming pack, an angry pack, hunting me down. But can I survive? One of them is actually Ram Shadow, my Dutch doppelganger. He's going to give me a boost, is he? Yes, he is. Thank you very much, Dutch doppelganger. Into the final corner. Penultimate lap. Coming through. And it's looking fine. We're looking all right. We're looking good. Over to the left-hand side once again. Defend. Get out of the slipstream. Not that that's going to be possible. They're obviously going to follow my slipstream. Which side is he going to go? Look at the radar. He bumps me. Okay, I'll take that. Into the corner. He didn't want to go past me. Saving it for the last possible moment. Sometimes it can be better to stay behind. But luckily this time, we haven't got a stupid penalty. It seems like this over race, you're at the mercy of the race itself half the time with a stupid penalty or the other players. And half the time it actually goes to plan. Into the final corner then, it's getting really close. Had to defend slightly. And devious around the outside. Am I gonna be able to come back here? It's gonna be a drag race to the line in the same car though, he gets the job done into the slipstream, gonna pull back out, get back past him. It's very close, on the line, less than half a tenth, but not quite. And to be fair to him, he completely did me around the outside. It was a really good move. And unfortunately, that means I don't win. But it was a good race, it was a good battle. And that time, we wasn't at the mercy of the penalty gods or the getting crashed out gods. We actually made it. I'm gonna show you two examples now from a live stream. I'll go over to the commentary from those streams and I'll show you two different cars, which you can win races in. Right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, let the fun begin. <coughs> right, where do we go from here then? Up there, bro. Is 
the oval. The, uh, sorry, the Evo is ridiculous on the oval. So quick in a line. It's not, oh, it's not even slow in a line. Normally it's crap. Oh, there's more death. I'm here, mate. I'm here. Pay attention. Oh my god. I think we're at four abreast then. I'm just glad I haven't got a penalty out of all of that. Okay, loads of penalties up ahead now. Oh! Oh! Okay, another one. That going to be another one as well. Come on! <laughs> we got a chance of winning this. A squeeze mammal. Oh boy. Look how quick that Evo is in the toe. Nothing I can do about that. Someone bump me. Bump me. Come on! Yes! Yes! Get in there, Lewis. Fantastic drive. Get in there, Lewis. It's not going to matter, though. I'm still going to win this. 100% guaranteed going to win. This car seems... Yeah, it feels good. It's very controllable. It's so tall, you can't see past it. Right, oh, got faster again. Do I take over duties here? Oh, we're losing the toe here, guys. Come on, let's work together now. Back in, it's alright. Panic over. Follow me, chaps. At five, we're getting there. B5 as well. Bowers out wide. The 
Oh, uh, you're still in the lead. Come on. Oh, this Italian is a bit swervy, isn't he? Do it. Send it. boy. Yes, get in there, come on! Suck on that, everyone. Wow! <laughs> yes! Okay, so there you go. One in the Nissan GTR, one in the Mercedes SLS. Two victories, two different cars that aren't the Evo. So it shows you it can be done. But the oval, you know what? I find it really fun. When it's going well and you're not getting battered about and getting silly eight second penalties, then it's then it's actually really good fun. But there you go, everyone. Let me know your thoughts on the oval racing in Gran Turismo Sport. And well, I do hope you enjoyed the video as always. Please do let me know your thoughts. And maybe if you're new to the channel, give us a sub follow on Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. And I shall see you next time. Have a nice day. Goodbye.